All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video, which is on Lazio attacking midfielder Serge Milinkovic Savic. The 24 year old is in scintillating form. Chelsea have been linked with him a few times over the last sort of year or so, but I wanted to talk about him in this video because Chelsea recently sent scouts out to Lazio's last game to watch him play as they are heavily interested. This has been reported by the Italian media and I've, I've spoken about midfielders at Chelsea before. Chelsea have a lot of midfielders, but they're not converting chances and they need people to finish off chances. He can get a goal, he can get an assist, who knows, the likes of Barkley might be out in the summer, and maybe even N'Golo Kante. So I wanted to talk about this player and express my thoughts and opinions on the potential transfer. Obviously, the transfer window shut in January, but look at Hakim Ziyech. Chelsea are looking to get some agreements in place before the summer transfer window, and Milinkovic Savic could be one of those players. Before I give you the numbers and my opinions on this player, a quick reminder to you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not yet already done so, please do sub, hit the bell notifications icon, because it's kind of important. Why not like the video to help me out and follow me on Instagram to hang out with me on Instagram Lives. All right, let's get into it. So it's the same old story with Chelsea Football Club, recurring themes of domination, chances created, perhaps not that final incisive ball, not finishing off the chances and scoring goals. Essentially, you know, the main narrative from the whole season continues, the difference making of Eden Hazard is lacking, although Tammy Abraham's done very well in the centre forward spot, they've got no other real option that does consistent work up there and even Tammy Abraham's dropped off in terms of form which is kind of understandable for his first season playing as Chelsea's number nine and Chelsea want to start doing work to right all these wrongs of course the signing of Hakim Ziyech is huge for Chelsea Football Club he is a superstar player in his prime and he will hopefully fix a lot of problems immediately himself but a Chelsea rebuild generally is mandatory at this point of course Chelsea are looking to bring in a dynamic left back that can match the talents and traits of the opposite side of Reese James. If you can bring a bit of that to the left back position, that will change Chelsea's whole dynamic and indeed the way they play football. There's potential talk about a centre back coming in as well. Chelsea have four very good centre backs, but is very good enough? Do they need that one brilliant individual centre back to come in and just basically change the sort of complexion of the defence? Maybe, we'll have to see. But this video isn't about a centre back. And of course, you guys know Chelsea need another striker, someone to help Tammy, maybe even challenge him for that first team spot. And if both Willian and Pedro go this summer, bringing in Ziyech alone might not be enough, especially with considering injuries. So who knows, maybe the Jaden Sancho momentum continues and Chelsea sign Sancho or perhaps a different winger. But this video isn't about any of those obvious parts of the pitch in terms of a rebuild. It's the midfield. Now, I've always maintained on football therapy that Chelsea do have a very strong midfield, and they do. They're very good at dominating the ball in the middle sector of the pitch and playing out of pressing. Look at the, you know, Kovacic and Jorginho playing together. It's very, very impressive indeed. Obviously, Mason Mount's an, uh, an improving young player who's very good at initiating the press himself. Chelsea have Ruben Loftus-Cheek to come back, who is an absolute beast. And they have a couple of promising like uh, youngsters coming through, Tino Andrew and Gallagher. Uh, Ampadu still probably got a shout to say. And of course, World Cup winner N'Golo Kante and Ross Barkley. I always forget about Ross Barkley, but there's probably a reason for that. But those two last ones, right, let's start with Ross Barkley. I think there's a chance he might be maybe out the door. Frank Lampard did really rate him in pre-season. Pre-season Ross Barkley was very good indeed. He's scoring goals, assisting, pressures off, expressing himself. Superb, but he has fallen away and looks like he can't get a sniff around the first team. And although N'Golo Kante is Chelsea's arguably only world-class player, he's been sort of riddled with injury throughout the season as he approaches 30 years old. Um, do Chelsea look to cash in for him? Who knows? Maybe they can balance the books more of 150 million for Kante. It's only speculation, but it's, you know, people are starting the debate about N'Golo Kante come the summer. So what if there is space for another midfielder to come in? I mean, as much as everyone loves Jorginho as well, we don't know what's going to happen with him. Maybe he will go to Juventus. I'd like him to stay because of his attitude and playing ability, but you don't know. Point being, there might be a slot for a top, top, top tier midfielder. Now, the Chelsea coach, Frank Lampard, was the best offensive central midfielder of all time. 
that's not up for debate. His eye for a midfielder is very, very important. And if he thinks that's a pit, an area on the pitch that Chelsea are lacking and they could capitalize on in terms of bringing someone in to change the fortunes of the whole entire Chelsea team, then you kind of have to trust Lampard on this one. And to Serge Milinkovic Savic, the midfielder, attacking central midfielder of Lazio, who are, by the way, having an absolutely scintillating season this year. I want to tell you some of his numbers, so I'm going to have a quick look on my phone and read them out to you. Milinkovic Savic, Team Lazio, attacking midfielder position. He's 191 centimeters tall, that's pretty tall, and he's 24 years old. Superb age for buying a player, absolute prime. Now in Syria this season, he's got four goals and four assists from attacking midfield, so that's eight league goal contributions in 22 appearances, which is pretty good. He shows that he can basically have an offensive output. He takes two shots per game. And get this, he wins 3.6 aerial duels per game. 3.6 aerial duels. So not only is this, a, this guy who can do a creative pass, score a goal, make an assist, he's very, very good at winning balls in the midfield or perhaps in the defensive sector. A really, really important attribute for Chelsea's midfield and something that Chelsea don't have in their midfield at the moment. Look at Kovacic, Jorginho and Kante. None of them are synonymous for winning aerial duels. Milinkovic Savic wins loads. Defensively quite sound as well. He makes 2.8 tackles and interceptions per game, which is decent. 1.7 dribbles per game, which shows he's defensively and offensively good. He's creative with his dribbles. He's good defensively. He makes 1.2 key passes per game, which is pretty decent as well. And he's got five man of the match awards already in Serie A this season. Five man of the match awards in the league from a midfielder in a team that's in the title race is very, very good indeed. It shows that he is a shining light in that Lazio midfield playing out in Italy. A man in his prime, he can do the defensive work, he can do the offensive work. It looks like he's the difference maker. Understandably, WhoScored.com gave him a very, very strong rating of 7.33. A lot of Chelsea players are all in like the 6.5s, so very, very impressive there. And if you want like a bit more of context of his previous seasons, how well he's done. Last season when Lazio weren't doing as well, he still got eight league goal contributions, but the season before that, he got 15 league goal contributions. Um, yeah, very, very good, basically. He's an he's a offensive threat, he's a defensive threat, he's a difference maker on the pitch. Now, Frank Lampard might be looking at Milinkovic Savic going, right, that's that difference we need on the pitch to sort of change the dynamic and also win second balls. I know it sounds silly me talking about all these short midfielders or midfielders that don't win headers, Yet to have a proper midfielder that wins second balls and plays in the wide men, plays in the striker, it's literally simple stuff like that that can change the whole dynamic of a football match. And perhaps Chelsea, the Chelsea board and Frank Lampard are looking at that and that's the reason why they're sending scouts out to watch Milinkovic Savage play and think, right, it's time to negotiate a deal for this player. Maybe they win the Scudetto this year, maybe they don't. Regardless, they might make Lazio an offer they cannot refuse in terms of this getting this midfielder. Chelsea, I'm not saying they should, I'm on the fence here, if Chelsea do end up selling someone like N'Golo Kante, maybe, who's playing in the offensive sort of role, well, box to box role at the minute, maybe they do see great value in signing this player. Anyway, it's a really interesting talking point regarding Chelsea because I do maintain that's their strongest part of the pitch, the midfield, but just because you've got a strong part of the pitch, does that mean you shouldn't strengthen it? You look at like the greatest managers of all time, they've taken strength and they strengthened it for the following season. Season. I maintain Chelsea will look to do a rebuild all around the pitch, but do you think Chelsea should sign this midfielder? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below about Chelsea's current midfielders, could we see some outgoings, is it worth bringing in a player of this quality in his prime, or do you think just don't don't bother, you know, pour the money in the striker, but say Chelsea still buy a striker and they've got the opportunity to buy Milinkovic Savic, what do you think? I'm kind of changing my stance on the midfield. I was pretty adamant it's really, really good, but the way I look at how Chelsea play more and watch the matches, I'm starting to think they probably could get more out of the midfield. They're really good at playing out from the press, but in terms of that thrust forward, he could be that player. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the content, guys, I want to urge you to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you are indeed new to the channel, that means a lot. Why not follow me on social media as well, at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. I'm always talking about Chelsea and football. Other than that, I think that's me. So 
you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy talk. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby